Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought it would be fun today to come on and do a look for y'all using all products that I wish were still available. Now there are many products in my collection that you still can't get anymore and some of them I'm like, oh, I, you know, I have it, glad I have it. And then that's pretty much it. And then there's some products that I'm like, man, I wish this was still available. I wish I could use it in more videos where people could get it. Cause I don't like to use stuff that's been discontinued very often, especially when I'm applying the product with y'all. And so when I went through each of my drawers, each category, I kind of picked out the thing that I wish that I could still be using in videos for y'all that you could still get your hands on. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's a random idea for a video. It's an excuse to get ready with y'all, put some makeup on, talk about products. What other reason do we need? Let me pull my hair back. So let's get started. I've done my eyebrows, primed my eyes. I don't really have a primer that is not available anymore or that I really wish was. So we're gonna go straight into foundation. This is probably the most perplexing product that I'm gonna talk about because it was on the shelves for less than six months and I will never understand why they took it off. I actually put it in my top five favorite foundations video and then as I was going to link it, I couldn't find it anywhere and I reached out to the company and they're like, yeah, it didn't meet our standards. So we pulled it from the shelves and I'm like, I mean, truly four months after it launched. This is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Foundation Long Wear Weightless Full Coverage Foundation. And I mean, I'm it's a foundation, so not everybody's gonna like it, but I love this stuff and I am so sad they took it off. So I'm trying to not use it a ton because I don't want it to run out, but eventually it will or expire first. So I might as well get my use of it. This is the color 225 Medium Warm. I only ever need one pump of this foundation. Now, I usually put down in the description box a list of everything I've used. There's kind of no point in me doing that because you can't get it. I might put my closest dupes that I have for them. I might list that. If I can find dupes that are close to these that you still can get, I'll list it. If you don't see anything listed, it's because they're just too good and I couldn't find any other dupes. So I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 106 brush. It just always looks flawless on my skin. If you can see, I'm just stippling it in, buffing it around just a little bit, but it blends out so well. It's really actually pretty full coverage, I feel like, but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin and it just applies flawlessly. It wears flawlessly. It lasts all day long. I don't have any issues with this foundation. It goes with every powder, every primer. I absolutely love it and I'm just sick to my stomach that they pulled it from the shelves. I'm thinking maybe the reason people didn't like it is because they used way too much because as you can see like I was one pump and that did all of my face and my neck and everything. So maybe that's why? I don't know. I'm very, it's just, it's very perplexing to me. The concealer that I'm going to talk about is the Philosophy Renewed Hope in a Jar Complete Concealer. So I don't know. I did a, it was year, I mean, probably two years ago, I did a video on the Hope in a Jar skin tint and I loved that stuff. And Philosophy has since discontinued all of their makeup products. I have no idea why. I did actually really enjoy this concealer as well. This is in the color Sand. It's one of those really, a little bit thicker and more emollient concealers. So you don't need a ton to get the coverage that you are likely looking for. It just doesn't take a lot, but it blends in really nice. It doesn't crease and crack on me. It's just an all around good concealer. Another one that I'm just, I'm, I'm confused as to why all of this is not here anymore, honestly. So I'm gonna let those sink in and start on the eyes. I don't believe, I know that this exact like packaging is not available anymore. I don't think that the color is either. And this is the Armani Liquid Eye Tints. And this is in the shade 28 Rivi area. Rivi, Riviera, Riviera. <laughs> and it's, it's just really pretty, like antique gold almost color. It's more of a matte finish. I, I wouldn't say it's completely matte, but it's definitely not near as shimmery as some of their other ones that have actual glitter in them. So I'm just gonna take that all over the lid, up into the crease, which this one really doesn't take much blending at all. And that's going to be the base for our shadow. It's really, it's just a really pretty wash of color. I tend to always get compliments on my eye looks. 
when I wear this color and I tried one of their smaller, the new packaged ones. And I don't know if they changed the formula, but I was not a fan of it. I have quite a few of these longer, taller, skinnier packages and I love them. The new ones I wasn't a big fan of. So I do really wish they would bring this back, especially in this color. Now the palette. Oh, the palette. I think many of y'all are going to agree with me on this. The Master Palette by Mario from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Honestly, I still think out of all of the palettes that they've come out with, all their wonderful palettes, the Soft Glam, the Modern Renaissance, all of those, I still think this is my favorite. The color combinations are just so me. I love them so much. The formula is so good. I know so many people want this palette back, me included. So I'm going to, I'm not going to do anything crazy. I mean, this is going to be something y'all all probably expect. I'm going to go into Isabelle and I'm just going to use a Repper number 15 brush and I'm going to really buff that into my crease. Per normal, I don't think I'm going to put another color in my crease on top of this, so I am going to really build it up because I love this shade so much. I'm about to hit pan on it, even though I try not to use this color or this palette that much, but I'm really going to build the color up in my crease. I mean, the pigmentation, the formula, everything is so good. Now I'm going to take the color Fifth Avenue, which is this really pretty gold color, and I'm going to apply it with the Refer Number 2 brush, which is a really nice flat shader brush and I'm going to pack that on top of that Riviera color. So once it's all said and done, you're not going to be able to see the Riviera color, but I wanted to include it because A, I wish it was still available and B, I do think it provides a good base for many other shadows. Now I'm going to take the gorgeous maroon satin color called Muse and I'm going to build up my outer corner with that. I think I might deepen it up, but I'm going to start with that and I'm using the Refer number one brush basically just putting it where I would put any outer corner. If a little bit gets in the, in the crease, that's okay, but I'm not trying to put a ton of it there. Now I'm going to go into Violetta with the Refer number three brush, and I'm just going to deepen up the outer V a little bit, and if I feel like it, I might do a little bit of a liner. It's, I'm just going to kind of play it by ear and see what I want to do, but it's the dark brown in the palette, and it's a really good deepening accent shade. I don't have any discontinued under eye setting powder. So I just used my Pat McGrath. Now let's talk about powders. I'm going to talk about two. I'm just obviously going to use one, but this one, y'all, this has been in my favorite powders for years. The Chanel Universal Natural Finish Loose Powder. This is in the color number 30. I am close to being out. Like I have a very minimal amount left and they have Change this powder. Now, Chanel says they have not changed it. I believe they said that about the powder as well as the bronzing cream. However, the ingredients on both are different. I tried to go to purchase the number 30 as a backup and it has already sold out of this original version. So I'm really sad about that. I have no idea. I mean, the new version may be fabulous, but I am really upset about that. The powder I'm gonna use is from MAC and this is from their next to nothing line. Um, not quite sure why they got rid, of, got rid of this, but I loved pretty much everything from the line. This is their powder, and it's in the shade medium dark, which looks a little dark, but it's truly next to nothing. I mean, it's it sets, but it doesn't set with a ton of coverage. Like, it's very forgiving. I could probably use three of the shades in this range. And it just it sets your foundation perfectly without looking like powder at all. I mean, the next to nothing name of this suits it very well. And I just really enjoy it. I have one in my personal stash. I have one in my kit. So I don't find myself running out of it anytime soon. But I do wish that it was still available. And I'm using the BK Beauty number 102 brush. For bronzer, I'm going to talk about two as well. This one you can still technically get. You just can't get it as readily available as it was when it was available on Ulta. And it is the Note bronzing powder. And it is, I need to glue it back in the pan because it's completely come out. But this is what it looks like. And I have the color 20. So you can still get this on Note's website. Um, but again, it's just not as easily accessible. This has been a favorite bronzer of mine since it launched. It made it in a couple of my favorite bronzer videos, but I just don't talk about it as much, again, because it's not as easily available. So I wanted to mention that. And then what I'm gonna be using, you can get a version of it. And I, when I first started using this, I did not like it. It's the Tom Ford Ultimate Bronzer. And this is in the color Terra. So this is the big Mamma Jamma that came out a couple years ago. And I honestly, I could not 
pick up any product with my brush. I had to use a spoolie with it to get the product to come up and then pick it up with a brush. I just did not like it. Now, after probably four or five times of, no, more than that, almost 10 times of using a spoolie to pick up the product, it um, it's almost like that top layer was released and I can pick up the product now better. I do find these work better with a natural fiber brush. So I'm gonna be using my refer number 22 brush. I love the formula because it is more of a matte formula. It's kind of like a satin matte, but it definitely does not have any glow to it versus the ones that are available now, the Soleil Glow, which I love and I have in the color Gold Dust. But I have just absolutely been loving this ever since I picked it up for a Shop My Stash video ages ago, and I'm just sad that you can't get it anymore. Now let's talk about highlights. Ugh, this one. I mean, honestly, I love this one so much. And as with a lot of NARS products, it was limited edition. This is the Bonk de Sable highlighting palette. There's a trio of three gorgeous highlighting shades. You have a almost white shade, a more gold shade, and then a more bronzy, almost rosy tone shade. If you can't tell by how much is taken out of these pans, I love these highlighters so much. I love them for eyeshadows. I love them for highlight. They're just absolutely beautiful. Love the formula. Love everything about them. What I do is I take a brush and I'm going to try the refer number four brush today. Um, I basically run them through all three colors and then I use that as my highlight. And then at the end, I'll probably use that really white ivory shade as my inner corner and brow bone, which is what I tend to do a lot when I use this highlighter palette for highlight. I just have it out so it's easy and it works. When I actually use it for a highlight, I use all three colors on the face. For blush, both of the blushes I'm gonna talk about are from Sephora. I feel like Sephora brand makes really good powder products, but they don't tend to stay for very long. I feel like a lot of their products are limited edition and you either get it while you can or you don't get it at all because they tend to bring out something else. And when they bring out something else, they discontinue what they had. The first is a palette that I so wish they would make either permanent or bring back these blushes in general. And it's the Winter Flush Palette from like two years ago. And it has four different blushes in it. And maybe two thirds of the blush is a matte formula. And then a third of it has more of like a sheen to it within that same color story. So you can just use the matte or you can mix them all together. I tend to mix them all together. Just so pretty. I know I talked a lot about this the holiday season that it launched. And then the one I'm gonna to use today is the Micro Smooth Duo Baked Blushes. And this is in the color Guava Glow. I don't know why they discontinued this. I know a lot of people love them. They had great reviews. And they're just gorgeous baked blushes. This one is more of like a peachy pink color and pretty much goes with everything. And it just leaves a really pretty sheen on the skin, um, blends into the skin really nice. I mean, I love it. I just, I love it. Luckily, they have not discontinued my lovely Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I don't know how they could without Riot starting in the makeup world because this is like the best powder ever to buff out. So that's what I'm going to use. This is in the color Radiant Light. I'm gonna go back into the palette with the Refer number three brush and Violetta and lightly line my lower lash line just a little bit because this is such a dark color. We're gonna buff it out with Isabel and then just take a little bit of Isabel on my Refer 13 brush and buff that out. Man, I love this eyeshadow palette so much. I'm gonna go back into that NARS palette with my Alter Ego number eight brush and use that first shade for my inner corner and brow bone highlight. Spray with my Beauty Counter Rose Mist. And I'm gonna do my mascara off camera because I don't have any that I love that are discontinued. Okay, so for lipstick, I do love this lipstick and I cannot find it on the Sephora site. It is the Rouge, Sephora Rouge Ingenuous. Again, another Sephora product that they just don't keep around. But this is a pretty more, I mean, it's a nude y'all, come on. But it's more of like a brown nude, which I don't tend to reach for a ton, but when I do looks like these smoky looks like this, I do find that I reach for this shade of nude. And even though this is more matte and I don't tend to go for matte as much, it's a very pretty shade on the lips. It wears well, it feels comfortable, and I'm just sad that they got rid of it. And I could not find a gloss, so I'm going with my Old Faithful 
Fair Shimmer by Beauty Counter because it goes with everything and I would be devastated if they discontinued this color. Don't y'all just, oh, I just can't wait till I can go get my hair done. I was supposed to get it done this week and obviously that's not happening. And there's, I've seen so many posts like on Facebook and Instagram of like, what's the first thing you're going to do when we can like leave the house and act quasi normal again. And getting my hair done is not the first thing, but I, I would be lying if I said I'm not looking forward to it <laughs> because it is going to be long and stringy and dark by the time all this is over with. Our youngest, uh decided that she was bored she had like really long she has super thick hair she got that from chad and it was really long and she decided she wanted to look like snow white so chad has never gotten his hair done at a barber he has always cut his own hair and so she went into the bathroom and asked daddy if he would cut her hair and he did he cut like eight inches off of it and it's so precious <laughs> But that's, that's kind of like where this quarantine is, is putting us all into desperation mode when it comes to, to hair. Anywho, that was a little sidetrack. This is the final look using all of the products that I wish were still available. I would love to hear the one product that you are so, so sad that you cannot get your hands on anymore down in the comment section below. Let's share that with everybody. Thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope that you are all staying sane and healthy and safe and that you all go out and have a very blessed day.